It's a question that you have been asked before, but we're going to ask it again. Did you kill Greg Fall? Uh, no, I have never killed anyone, and it's not my style. People who know me, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the most easygoing person in the world. Um, it's true that the night before his death, uh, seven of my dogs were poisoned, but so were many of my neighbor's dogs. Uh, and he was the last person to come to mind. What came to my mind was the government in, in their constant harassment. They'd already shot one of my dogs, destroyed property, uh, tried intimidation. So why not poison four of my dogs in, in order to harass me? Certainly, Greg Fall never came to mind. At least, if you, if you look it up, is the, uh, the uh, murder capital of the world. It has the highest, the highest murder rate uh, of any country. People are killed all the time. It's a poor country, but it's also a heavily armed country. And so people come uh, with money and they become targets. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's, I, I, I do not know who killed Mr. Fall. It was certainly not me, and I had nothing to do with it. The government, however, took that opportunity uh, to go, great, now we can we can at least put him in jail for 60 days while we trump up charges against him. Right. You say you don't know, but do you have suspicions of what happened to him? Well, there could be anything, but number one, uh, robbery. I mean, he lived in a huge house, a two-story mansion on the beach in, the, in again, the poorest country in the world. Um, Robbery is, is number one. He also had a lot of enemies there. I was not one of them. He didn't like the barking of my dogs, but then a lot of people don't like the barking of my dogs. Uh, they, you know, they try to say that because he, he, he had complained about my dogs that we had fights. I haven't spoken more than 50 words to that man in the five years I lived in San Pedro. So, again, and the police did not charge me. They didn't even suggest mm -hmm. that I was, I was responsible. That story got out because a gentleman named Jeff Wise erroneously published an article in the New York Times saying I was the prime suspect. Not true. Never was. They wanted to question me like they questioned all of my neighbors. I refused to be questioned. There's a right here in America, by the way. If I don't want to be questioned, I can keep silent. In Belize, you do not have that right. They question you, you go to jail. So this is the way it works. And yet there are those who believe that you got away with murder because your wealth and American citizenship. So how do you respond to those people? My response is nothing. You may believe what you wish to believe. Uh, you ask me questions, I answer them. Uh, read the news. At no point does police think I murdered him. Uh, even the latest reports that was in uh, USA Today just last week, uh, they said, no, he, he's, not, he's not charged with murder. We're, not, we're really wanting to question him as a neighbor. Why, why? You can believe it, but I have nothing to do with it. I've never been charged with it. The press has convicted me. They convicted me that first day by calling me a prime suspect. Erroneous reporting.